Welcome. You're listening to the Conversation Hour on ESPR. You might have been hearing recently about a number of incidents concerning malfunctioning Neurolink implants where customers who have undergone the procedure have been arrested and placed under psychiatric care for behavior allegedly brought on by defecting Neurolink systems. Our guest this evening is Mr. Lance Cooper, a Neuralink customer who since having undergone the cognition enhancing operation has lost his job and now suffers from acute cognitive and psychological impairment. Lance, welcome to the show. Thank you. Now Lance, before I ask you any questions regarding your experience with your Neuralink system and your reasons for acquiring the implant, could you please tell us of what compensation you've been offered by Neurobloom, the company responsible for the implantation procedure? None. I, I tried to contact Neurobloom and have gone so far as to visit the building where I underwent the procedure, but they've completely vanished. The building and the phone number I, I used to contact them now belong to a wholesale firm who claim to have no relation to them whatsoever, and their, their email address apparently no longer exists either. Removal of the implant by another Neuralink specialist is presumably inexplicably expensive? Well, I simply won't do it. Not not because of the cost, but because of the risk involved. Rem- removal of the device would require direct incisions into my cerebellum, and unless they know exactly how the implant is configured, the, the risk of failure and subsequent death is, is too high. So legally they can't actually... Exactly. And there's no way to recalibrate it externally? It it was sold to me under the premise of a self-adjusting unit that is able to adapt to changes in activity and and effectively evolve itself according to developments in cognitive function and an enhanced cognitive capacity with no need for external interface. But don't most Neuralink implants have some means of external monitoring? Most companies do provide a way of connecting the implant to a computer system, but I was told by Neurobloom that this was dangerous and that the potential for third-party interference could be life-threatening, not not only to myself but to other people. So, presumably you were told that having no way of external interference meant that the implant was much safer and not in any way susceptible to someone hacking into your brain, for example? Yes. Okay, so what is it that made you want to have the implant in the first place? Well, at at the time, I was working in a call center operated by Stop, selling insurance to potential customers, everything from life to car insurance. You, You get paid bonus according to the amount of successful sales transactions you make. Stop. provide you with details such as the potential customer's credit score and their financial history and you have to generate an appropriate price and, and sell it to them. Processing all of that takes time, right? Exactly. So I received an email from Bob advertising this cognition enhancing implant procedure and how it would in- increase your brain's data processing speed. Sort of like a, a calculator. Yes, but a calculator doesn't simultaneously solve equations and sell a stranger house insurance. So you got the implant? Yes. And there was nothing immediately odd about Neurobloom? I called the the number advertised in the email. We scheduled a procedure for the next day. I I went. Everything, Everything seemed perfectly legitimate. How much did the procedure cost? 1,000. I I figured I'd make it back fairly quick. And after the procedure, how did you feel? I I didn't notice any difference at first. They they said I wouldn't for roughly two weeks. And then? It it was in the second week after the procedure. That's when things started to change. Hello? Hi, am I speaking to Mr. Peter Robson? Uh, yeah, who's this? My name is Lance, I'm from Palmer. I'm calling to let you know about the insurance policies we have on offer to over 50 year olds. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I noticed you recently had an injury claim rejected by Red Fox. How do you know about that? Uh, here at Palmer, we have access to rejected claims submitted via the FCA. I just wanted to let you know that you are eligible for a reduced rate on our over-50s life insurance policy. Uh, 
<laughs> Why is that then? Uh, excuse me, sir? Why am I eligible for a reduced rate plan with you when I've just had my first claim rejected by the only company that's ever insured me? Because your recent failed claim makes it likely that you would be looking for a new insurance provider. But why are you offering me a reduced rate when my most recent claim has been dismissed? Because we are planning for an underwriting loss and my estimates show that it is likely that the policy we sell you will either expire before you pass or be cancelled due to your unstable financial situation. And what if I die and you have to pay out my claims before you've made enough interest on premiums to meet uh, your underwriting loss? Oh, wh what do you mean? Who's going to bail you out when you fail to meet the shortfall? Oh, well, that would be the Vice Chancellor of the Bank of... And that got you fired? Yeah. What did you do? Like like I said, I, I tried to get back in touch with Neurobloom, but, but... They'd gone? Yeah, completely. This was some time ago. Uh, af after that, more, more things started to happen. Strange things? Very strange things. Did you have any control over them? O over my behaviour? Yes. S sometimes. Sometimes I was aware that my behaviour was strange. Other times, other, other incidents I barely realised were happening. E even, even now, I, I don't believe they really happened. But they did. What happened? I, I got desperate. And after some searching, I found someone who, who claimed they could wipe the device and, and render it ineffective. Who? I, I don't remember anything. But afterwards, things got better. I mean, I was a, a bit more normal. For a while. And then things got much worse? Hi there, what can I get for you? Hi, can I get the, the daily special, please? I'm sorry, but we currently don't have that at the moment. Oh. Can I, can I interest you in something else? Um... Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Hello? Excuse me, sir. You're holding up the queue. Can you make an order, please? Hello? Oi! Thank you.
Thank you. 